We're back on another edition of Red Raider Weekly. Thanks for sticking with us. The women's tennis team in a brief hiatus before the spring season begins. Red Raider Weekly caught up with a few of the key players to see what we should expect from this year's team. I think it's a, a program that is on the rise the last three years. We've been steadily moving up um, the rankings and you know this is the first year we'll be playing with mostly juniors and seniors opposed to sophomores and freshmen. So you know we're excited about building something instead of creating something new and, and building on what we've uh, accomplished last year. So you know I think it's a program that's going to do some big things this year. We're really working on getting like stronger, quicker, faster, all of that stuff and then like we come out here on the court and get a little better. You know, it's mostly like your fitness and stuff, making sure we get that taken care of. I think last year we, we were right there, but maybe we just lacked a little bit of experience in like the, the big time situations, but I feel like all but one have been through that now last year, so hopefully when it comes to that crucial point this year, then we can capitalize on that. A lot about confidence, just like every other sport. I mean, it's about building on confidence, getting better every day, um, you know, building on what we've done last year. and. And each year, it's, each year it's about getting just a little bit better from the year previous. And like I said, with the team that was mostly freshman and sophomore, it's starting, starting from new. And so it's really about just continually growing. And that's what we've really used the fall for. And like I said, it was one of the more successful falls uh, that we've had since I've been here. Exciting for us that it, it was a freshman this year, really. Kenna Kilgo from Waco, she, uh, you know, she was someone that actually graduated a year early. So she's very young. Um, and really, her first tournament, she won it with Sam Adams in doubles and, and probably posted one of the best falls of our, anybody of our team. So, you know, to have someone playing, uh, you know, beyond her years so early only is going to give the team a lot more depth. Realistically, I'd like to go out and play the best I can every time. Um, I know everyone's good around here uh, and all the teams are fantastic, but I would really like to see our team get ranked higher this year um, and then just have fun with it. We want to make the NCAA tournament be like a top 30 team, I think that's the main goal. Hopefully Dustin, <laughs> you know, Dustin for, you know, championships and, and things. But no, I, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, excited probably is the word. I mean, I think they're ready to accomplish some goals that have never been done here before, which is make an NCAA tournament. We can beat Texas again. That'd be awesome. Um, but I feel like everybody in the conference and the Big 12 in general, they're just amazing teams. And it's an honor just to get to play against them. You know, I've been a Red Raider since I was four years old, and uh, you know, so I'm very passionate about this school, this community, um, and this program. And every day, um, you know, I try to show that to our girls and express that to girls, and they've really bought in, and I think they feel the same way. So it's it's something I feel really dear to. Stay tuned for more Red Raider Weekly after the break. <laughs> 